I'm just going to show you how to pull your lashes off the strip and how to pick up a lash extension. So we've got our classic uh, 0.15 lashes here, which are in a C curl. It's just a mixed tray, so we've got all of our different lengths here. Now I'm going to need to pick up one of these lengths off the strip. Let's just say I selected a 10 millimeter for this set and I need to pull out the 10 millimeter. Now we're going to need to lift that off. You can actually pick up the lashes from the tray, but it's more difficult because you've got the sides here, which you'd be knocking into when you're trying to pick up your lash extensions. If you're going in here, you have to kind of almost go upside down to try to pick up. You see how you can do it, but it's a lot easier if it's outside of the tray. So I'm just going to kind of flick it up using my tweezer. Now I don't want to use any good volume tweezers for this. But this is my isolation tweezers, so it's totally fine for me. So once we get that corner up, you just have to kind of pull out a little bit with your tweezer. Um, some of them are a little bit easier to pick up than others. It depends on what angle you come in on and everything like that. But now that I've got the corner here, I'm just going to peel that back slowly and pull it right off of the tray. So now I've got my strip here. And I'm going to want to put it on one of my lash tiles. So I have the hand lash tile here, or I have just a flat lash tile. So totally just depending on your personal preference on what you want to use for your lash tile. For this, I'm just going to show you guys using it on the hand lash tile, which is my favorite, just because it keeps the lashes nice and close. So now I'm going to apply it on the 10 millimeter row. I'm just going to place it down. Then I just use the back side of my tweezer to just smooth it on there. And I'll use my tweezer again here. I just want to make sure it's well secured onto our lash tile. And now that I've got that on there, the next step that I want to do, I'd pick out all my lengths that I need. So say for my client, if I needed 8, 9, 10, 11, I would put all those on there as well. Now the next thing I want to do is just comb out my lashes a little bit using one of these mascara spoolies. So I just comb them side to side. And this just softens up the lashes, loosens them up a little, fluffs them out a little. For volume lashing, it makes them easier to fan. For classic lashing, it makes them easier to pick up. It just makes sure everything is nice and fluffed and easy to work with. I give them just a quick comb with that spoolie. And then I'll show that another thing you can do is actually prime the lash extension. So not only the lashes, but the lash extension. So if you wanted to prime the lash extensions, you can use two Microsoft brushes along the base with a little bit of primer and just prime through those bases. Just make sure they're fully dry before you start applying any extensions. I'm just gonna show you how we pick up a lash extension. So you just come in and make sure that you only have one lash and just pull it slowly towards yourself and lift it off the strip. Now you don't want to be too close to the base because then you could get glue on your tweezers, but you don't want to be too high up either on the lash extension because then you could lose out on some of your control of that lash extension. Just because of the angle, it can be a little bit easier. See how this is angled in towards the lashes? So if it's easier, I mean, it's all personal preference with tweezers. So if it's easier for you to use you know, one that's labeled as a volume tweezer for your classic lash pickup, that is totally okay. You can and then just a nice close up so we can really see what's going on here. So I come in with my tweezer right behind the extension, make sure that I only have one. You can pull a little if you can't tell. Move my tweezer just so it's at the right spot and slowly lift towards myself not too high up on the extension and also not too low down on the extension.